Earning coins and high overall cards in Madden 19 can be very difficult. So from time to time, I'm going to let you guys know the best solos that you should be doing right now and why with the way that everything is right now, this is very important that you guys get to these solos right now. Now, the most recent one where we are right now is the new journey, Are We There Yet? I'm going to explain to you why some of you may not see this and if you guys have already done it, why it can make you a mutt millionaire right after this. All right, so we are back, and you can see that I've completed the journey. Pretty much what you get from here, you get a nat 95 overall Le'Veon Bell, but you also get free Mutt Coins, 42,000, okay? You also get eight free packs. Now, why is that a concern for, for me, and why am I giving you guys this information? It's very, very simple. A lot of you guys right now need to get your team up to par because go ahead and like the video if every team that you run into online, their top three are 99 overalls. It is what it is. It's part of the game. People are going to spend money. Some people are going to grind. Some people are going to do both like I do. I grind and I spend money because when I want something, I'm going after it. And whichever way it has to happen, I got to get it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to spend money every now and again, but I'm not going to go crazy and just buy bundles to buy bundles. So these things should already be done. The previous jerk, I think you have to be level 50 to have that unlocked. That's what I was told, that you have to be a level 50 to unlock the new journey, which is over here. So whatever you have to do to get to a level 50, get there. I'm not sure. If it's not level 50, you probably have to do the previous journeys in order to unlock that one. But for me, it was already readily available. So as you go through it, most of them are moments. Very, very simple, guys. You go. It, it took me about four, four and a half hours to complete all of these to get a free uh, 95 overall levy on Bell, which we're not going to use. I'm going to show you how you can utilize that to even make yourself more wealthy. Um, especially right now with the whole scouting thing, there's so many other things. If you're building your team, you're part of the team builder, things of that nature, you can utilize um, the training points to help boost the players that you get, etc., etc. All right. So look, let's go over here. I'm going to show you what's going on. As we level up right now, because I put out a, uh, a video previously showing you guys how to level up super fast, when you first get to level 71, you're going to get this bundle right here. These are the other eight packs that you get from inside of that, uh, that whole solo right there with the new journey. All right, are we there yet? So again, it's very important. We're going to open these all up and we're going to see what we get because then we can add that on to the free mutt coins that you get because all that's costing you is your time. So obviously you're going to rage a little bit in some cases. You might not be able to get all of the solos done at one, you know, in one go around, but you should be okay. All right, I just wanted to point this out and show you guys where that, that whole situation came from. We're going to go over and show you guys the Le'Veon Bell though so you guys can see exactly what we're dealing with. So here we go right here. Um, it's gonna, it should be one of my newest things, I believe. Um, where are you? Okay, so Le'Veon Bell right here. Okay, so he is a gnat. All right, for me, you can, if you have a theme team, what happens is with John Madden coach and Sprinter, he's going to go to a 96 speed because when you power him up, if you start with the Le'Veon Bell power up, he's going to go to, um, he's going to be a 93 speed. And then if you add the other three with John Madden coach and Sprinter, he's going to go to 96 and then he can go to any team. All right, so let me just show you what I'm talking about. In case you want to keep him, he can literally go to any team. So we're going to spend, um, you know, five training points to just show you the, uh, the slot right here. You'll see that all the teams come up. So you can make him part of any one of the teams that you have. And ultimately, if you have 50 players from that same team, he's going to be eligible for the plus three speed. And if you have John Madden coach and you have the physical chem for the plus one speed, and if you have Sprinter with 30 players on your team, you're going to be able to get him to a 99 speed, 99 overall. He's going to be a sick card. But for me, I have no use for him. Okay, so let me go ahead and take that back off of him so I can actually... Um, you know, get rid of that. I just wanted to show you guys that he can go to any team and that could actually help a lot of you guys out with your theme teams. Now, now that that's all done, he's pretty much going to be for me, 6,500 training points. All right. So we'll just take those training points and we'll move on from there. All right. So that's everything with those solos. Now I'm going to show you what, why you should be grinding and doing your solos. Not only that, why you should be grinding your mutt level when they release new content, because now all these packs right here, we're going to open up. And, I, and like I said, we got 42,000 coins from doing the solos. 
Now we're going to go ahead and open the bundle and see what's going on. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's open the Legends and the Ultimate Legend bundle because we get this from getting a le uh, going to level 71. Um, so if you guys are still currently grinding right now, these are the things that you're going to have you, that you can look forward to. This is going to be your free stuff that you're going to get. So definitely continue to grind and then let me know what you guys get. Post it in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. Tweet me at Myers World. Let me know what's up. All right. Um, these are all trash cards, but this is the first round. We're going to take the highest cards. And we're going to move on. All right, that's garbage. That's garbage. More garbage. Oh, 81. Oh, a stop. Oh, a team builder. We'll take him. Um, we'll take this guy. All right, let's go. Uh, Schnarr. All right, that's garbage. Oh, yeah. Okay, that guy is... Tr oh, oh, no, no. Now, that's what I'm talking about, EA Sports. That is what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to show you what the price of that... I think that's about 160. So you can add that on... To the total amount of coins that you prop that I'm going to make right now, you guys are probably pull full legends because what happens is you guys don't understand when you watch my videos and pull packs, you're gonna get lucky. You're gonna absolutely 100% get lucky. So you need to make sure you're always doing that. Just just go to any one of my random videos because what we do is we try to distribute pack luck to each other. So we always somehow get something crazy. That's just the way it is. Oh, we get five out of this. All right, now, okay, all right, bro. All right, we get five out of this. Oh, another one. Oh, all team builders. Bro, team builders, come here, come here, come here. All right, this guy was a 79. Was, was anybody higher than that? Oh, he's a 78. So 79 and 79. We'll take those. Oh, snarf. All right, that, that, that's garbage. Oh, oh, yeah. That was, that's garbage. Oh, oh, oh. You see what I'm saying, guys? You see, you see why I tell you guys to do this? So now we have no choice. We have to upgrade this LaDainian Tomlinson. You see what I'm saying, bro? Unless, uh, oh, that, that, that was garbage probably. 89 Kevin Green. All right, so 94 is what we're going with. All right, so look, with doing all of those things, we were able to get that. And not only that, remember, these these also quick sell for scouting points, and you could do a lot of different things with scouting points. If you guys want to know the best case scenario for your scouting points, just ask about it in the comments, and I'll make a video specifically for you guys that are still having issues with the team builders and learning about the scouting points and how it can help you to make a lot of mutt coins. But this right here, we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to eventually power up LaDainian Tomlinson. Um, you can look out for that in the future video because why would they give him to me if they don't want me to power him up? Um, we gonna, we can check his price though also. Let's go and do that real quick to see what's, you know, what, what is he really going for right now? Um, to see exactly what the deal is because ultimately that's a, that's a glitchy pull right there. So we're going to probably get rid of the running back that we have now. Um, and we're going to go LaDainian. All right, so how much are you going for? What's going on with you, bro? All right, so you're at 202. So it's everything is very, very fairly new. So that's why he's going for that price. We can, um, where's the other guy? Randall McDaniel. We could actually sell you now. Uh, you're at 127. All right, so we can go, you know, maybe just, just sell him for like 119 because that's the thing about the Ultimate Legends. They're going to fluctuate in price as everybody starts to, um, you know, upgrade their other teams and the new currencies are out. So, what, hold up, that's a 94 overall. That's a, that, for 9,000 training? Really? He's going, he's only going for that? Yeah, I don't think he's going to go up anymore, though. All right, we just got, somebody's going to buy him instantly. I, I just realized, like, bro, hold, oh, whoa, 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 almost did that crazy. All right, so we'll, we'll put him up for, like, 121 and see if he sells, because that's already relatively cheap. That's a 94, dude. Like, that's, that's a really good price for that. So, with that being the way that it is, we're going to just leave that. We'll add that onto it. So we made like 166 plus this guy would have been another 200. So maybe 366 K. I would love to hear how much you guys made. So definitely leave the amount that you made after you ran through these solos um, and you opened your packs. All right. And also as you upgraded your mutt level. All right. So we saw what that price was. So let's get back to this. Oh, before we do that, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause the ultimate legends, if he's cheap right now, let's see what Ladanian Tomlinson is, 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 um, what is he going for right now? Let's check that out real quick. All right, Ladanian. Okay, five. All right, so we got that one. That's the first one. How much is this one? One seventy-two. I think that that might be. That might that that we should grab that. We should we should probably grab that. I think we should definitely grab that. Yeah, one seventy-two. That, that for for Ladanian Tomlinson and what we're trying to do. I think that that's a no-brainer. So we'll just grab it. He sold instantly, like I told you, because pretty much you need you need sixty six hundred training points to get to like you know one of the newer you know the, the higher levels so what happens is you have to make sure that you have everything involved um as far as the other cards that you need it's a lot of money that you're gonna well not a lot of money but a lot of uh you know mutt coin currency that you're gonna need to upgrade these ultimate legends but they can be the best players on your team easily so as long as you pick the right ones 
um, you know, you're going to be pretty good. You're going to be pretty good with it. And like I said, I went the legend chem route and I love it. I absolutely love it. The way that my team plays and everything like that. The only thing that I'm going to probably be looking for is a better, a, a better middle, uh, middle linebacker. I need a bet. I need a, what, bro, what is this? Bro, come on, man. Yo, you really don't got an 87? It don't matter. It don't matter. We're not going to worry about that. By the time we come back over there, um, there'll be an 87 there or it'll be there later. And like I said, if you guys want to see me put them together and do it from scratch, just write um, LT in the comments as well so I can know who's watching the videos throughout. And uh, I'll give you guys that, uh, that whole build process. So let's continue to open packs because we've had decent pack luck so far. So let's see what else is going on. Um, and again, these are all the everything that I get from this is all profit. All right, this is all from... Why are they still giving that out? Steve Atwater? Like, that, that's weird that they're still giving that out. Like, the Snow Beast still? Uh, unless you need that for, like, a final upgrade. Because the, the Snow Beasts don't get Legend Chems. Just so you guys know, the Ray Lewis power-up, I'll pass on that. I don't need none of that. And remember, these are gold premium packs, so we're not looking to really get anything crazy. But, meow, if we get an Elite, why not? You know what I'm saying? That could. Oh, and another Team Builder. Not bad. Oh, ooh, this one is, like, a 70. Nice. Oh, 82. So, as you know, with most of these cards, you can use these in elite token sets. And with the elite token sets, that helps you to complete some of your team builders. If you guys are into that, like I said, I made a video recently uh, trying to teach you guys about like the team builder and stuff like that. So, that will help you guys um, be able to make more coins, uh, be able to get that theme team going uh, with the way that I set it up for you guys to kind of explain it. So, let me know if that helped you out. Definitely go check it out. But they're giving me a lot of team builders in these gold premium packs. So, I guess that might be the glitch. You might, you probably could just go into the store and open up the, you know, buy these with coins, these premium packs, and see how lucky you get, honestly, because look at that. Oh, that's a harvest card. And then another rising star, which those rising stars are going to average selling for about 10K right now because people are still trying to, you know, complete um, a decent amount of that with a clutch pack. What's this? A Julian Edelman. Why would I want that? What's this? Yeah, that's garbage. Oh, wow. 89 out of that? That, 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 that was clutch. That was absolutely clutch. 82. Okay. 89. Yo, 82 and 89. That's not bad out of a clutch pack. I wasn't really expecting uh, these, these so many good things. Um, but ultimately, like I said, we're going to complete that Ladanian Tomlinson and uh, see what happens after that. Oh, 86. Wow. Wow. That's not bad. That's not bad. 81. We, we got a lot of good stuff. Oh, 82. So we, we have, when it comes to this, right? You can look at it and see like the 660 scouts. Sometimes it might benefit you to actually put these cards into sets. If you don't want to actually, you know, go through the whole process of using them as scouting points or, um, you know, or selling them. So look right here. When you go inside the Mutt store, right, the scout points are used here. So you can get a random net for 16,500. Okay. Everything over here, like the 10,500, whatever like that, you can see we're at 4,302. So if we could build up enough, to get one of these cards, it might be beneficial. But I'm telling you right now, I would have to go 32,500 because I'm all about legends. Or I would get this if I were able to come across scouting points. I would try to gamble with that and get a 95 overall and then see how much I could sell it for. Because like I said, I'm doing all legends. in my, But that's for my, uh, that's for actually my mutt team. All right. So this is what I want to show you guys before I let you guys go. So you can kind of understand exactly what the whole game plan is. When you come over here and you look at the most recent or whatever to find out what the values of the stuff is now you're going to be able to add on to more that you could have made so the 86 is obviously the highest that we pull so let's check what the 86s are going for all right so they're very they're low and we see that there's 660 scouting points right so that's 14 if we were to spend um you know another 10 would make it it'll be six thousand. So that'll bring us up to 10. So you have to spend like, like 200,000 coins, something like that, to be able to get something if you wanted to use that scouting for the auctionable version. If you are going that and you're just doing team builder things and you're building up your team, then you can make use of these cards. Ultimately, what I was trying to explain is that when you get 50 players of the same team, you get plus three speed. 40 of them give you plus two speed and uh, 25 give you plus one. So for those of you guys that are doing the regular situation, maybe that's the way you should roll. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you should go that way and try to finish up what you're doing so that way, um, you know, ultimately you can get that plus three speed for your players. Me, I'm, like I told you guys, I'm all legend out. All right, so now let's take a look at this. So we have um, we have the 80, what is that, uh, 80? I thought we had somebody else that was a New York Giant. That was 86. He's not part of this? What team, what, what team builder was he for? Because he had a New York Giant logo on him. 
All right, let me let me back out of this. Let me back out of this real quick. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna back out. We're gonna go over. We're gonna go back to the card and just see. Is that just a card that they just released that doesn't go into one of the sets? I just want to make sure that you guys have the right information uh, when you're doing it um, as far as building stuff up. Okay, so he promote to starter eligible two sets. Yeah, he's just a regular team builder. All right. 86 to 87 overall. Okay, yeah, so he can't do anything with him. So you can just pretty much use him to add for your, you know, it's for the Giants. But he's not, he boosts all Giants players. But how, though? What What is he giving them? Because he has the New York. Oh, I think they get they get more, um, do they get more of the chems or something? Let me see. Let me see what's going on here. Let me accept that. We're going to spend some more training to see what's happening. So that way I can tell you. All right, so scheme. All right, the scheme goes there. And then New York Giants, that's it. So... How how is he a team builder? Just another New York Giant player. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's not really doing anything. And you don't get times three with it. So it is what it is, guys. If you want to use these additional cards to help boost your team, they're they're just giving you a little bit more of higher overall players to continue to boost the team. But I'm not doing a New York Giant theme team, and he doesn't go to anything else. That's probably why he's so cheap, because he's not involved in any of the sets. Let me see what this guy's doing. Um he's eligible for two sets. Yeah, these all, none of these players look like they go into the sets for those actual players. So you would have to find those actual players and do it that way if you wanted to complete any of those sets. But it looks like what would be beneficial to me is to sell these cards and accumulate more scouting points and then ultimately go into the store and buy one of those cards. That probably would be my best bet. Let me know how you want to utilize it um, as far as what you're going to be doing, what you get from your free packs. And then let me just show you the team and, and let you guys see why I'm not concerned with team builders. Pretty much what I'm doing is, you can look on the right side, you see I have legend passing and I have legend pass defense. What that does is it boosts all my legends and gives them plus one speed in addition to other things offensively that, that is listed on the right side there. All right. The biggest thing about it is the legends are just so easy and they're cheaper than the than the you know like than the, the teams that are out right now like the regular people the live players they're a lot cheaper and they still pretty much do the same thing they've been working out uh, pretty well for me on the defensive side of the ball we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the legends pass D and um, what that does is all the other things that pretty much lockdown does but it also gives you the plus one speed um, I am going to be looking I have to get rid of this guy see Bill Romanowski what happens is this. He, he's usually my middle linebacker because I've been user in Shazier again. He does his zone coverage is 89, but he doesn't really, you know, he's not really that good of a zone player. So I'm looking for another legend. I don't want. Um, I'm not going to go back to Ray Lewis or anything as like a, a team captain, but I need another legend that has better zone. So I'm going to wait for another ultimate legend to be released um, that we could put there. But for now, that's what he is because I utilize uh, Ryan Shazier at middle linebacker. Um, I think Ryan Shazier has a lot better zone coverage, right? Yeah, he's a nine, well, 91, not too much more, but you know, he's a better he's a better player. You know what I'm saying at that position. So, it pretty much works out for us in that regard. So, what I need you guys to do right now, you guys know everything that I'm doing. I need you guys to grind those solos out and let me know, share it with me. Tweet me at Gmars World, let me know all the glitchy stuff you pull. I can't wait to hear about it. While you're here, you can also go over and sub the G Myers World Gaming and G Myers World Podcast where we do uh, different games at G Myers World Gaming and we talk about the NFL, NBA, and all kinds of sports on G Myers World Podcast. Hope to see you guys over there. Until next time, one love.